Okay, let's have a conversation. Have y'all been seeing a lot of these dating coaches appear from nowhere? In 2023, a huge trend started and it's still going on. High value women, dating coaches. Basically, women teaching other women how to be a gold digger, if I'm putting it in the right words. Now, obviously there are a lot of high value women coaches out there who teach really good things, valuable things, things you could actually benefit from. But, 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 there are so many women, girls, teaching young women to be stupid. I'm just gonna be really honest over here. By the way, you guys, this is my video, so I'm gonna be stating all of my opinions, what I think about it, and how I see things. So. Maybe I could be wrong, but honestly, I don't think I'm wrong. But anyways, let's just get into it, okay? Let's talk about the things that these coaches are putting into young children's minds, young girls' minds, or teaching them the wrong things, okay? Let's get into it because we need to talk about it because God forbid, I don't know how many of y'all are on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube watching these gurus teach y'all how to be high value women. They're labeling gold digging as high value women or they're basically labeling stupid or being an idiot as high value women when it it's just not high value, okay? And uh, it is not a smart way to live, it is not a smart way to date, it is not a smart way to be. So let's get into it. Number one, you don't have to bring anything to the table. Now this is something I have seen in so many high value women gurus videos, right? They are making fun of men who are asking women, what are you bringing to the table? And these women are basically teaching girls to be like, I don't bring anything to the table, I am the table. <sighs> What do you mean you're not bringing anything to the table? What the hell do you mean by you are the table? That doesn't even make sense. But like, what do you even mean by I don't bring anything to the table? Do y'all understand? Everything is 50-50. When it comes to friendship, it's 50-50. When it comes to a parent relationship, it's 50-50. When it comes to any kind of relationship, it's 50-50. But the problem now is that these women are teaching girls that you don't even have to expect a 50-50. You put your 10% and expect the man to put the rest. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work that way. And what do you mean by you don't bring anything to the table? How do you expect a high value man? How do you expect a successful man to be with you when you don't bring anything to the table? You're not smart enough to support him. You don't know how to handle a house. You don't know how to do shit. And these gurus get so freaking offended if a man asks them, do you know how to cook? Their response is always like, do you want a wife or do you want a mother? But logically, if you think men could ask the same thing women nowadays are expecting a man to take care of the woman completely which is totally fine if that's what you expect but men could also be like what am i your husband or your dad am i wrong the problem over here is everyone has to bring something to the table that's just how it works if he's bringing food to the house you gotta make the food and place it on the table that is how it works so don't go around being like i don't bring anything to the table i don't have to bring anything to the table why that brings me to my next point being pretty is enough. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. These dating coaches are basically teaching girls to basically just dress up, go to an expensive coffee place or an expensive restaurant, sit by yourself and wait for a man to come to you. You know, recently on TikTok, I saw this girl. She posted this video of her sitting in a restaurant and she was waiting for a man to come up to her and pay her bill so that she could go home. She finished eating and she was waiting for a man to come and pay her bill. Imagine being that stupid. Imagine being that cheap. Imagine just going to an expensive place that you can't afford and expecting somebody else to pay for it. Yes, it happens sometimes, but not all the time. And being pretty is not enough. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what kind of men will accept only being pretty. If you are going for, I'm pretty and that's enough, you know the kind of men that you will attract? insecure men a man could be rich a man could have everything he wants but he's insecure so you know what he's gonna look for a pretty woman to boost his confidence to show off like hey i got a hot wife i got a pretty wife but that's it and he's basically just going for your looks he doesn't give a shit about your personality he doesn't give a shit about your character he doesn't give a fuck about your love languages nothing because he's looking at your face and then two years later you have the audacity to complain about like i don't know he's not romantic he just wants to be with me in bed he just wants to me he just blah, blah, blah. bitch it's your fault okay because you thought being pretty was enough and being stupid was okay i'm sorry but if you ever hear a dating guru say being pretty is enough you don't have to go to uni you don't have to get your college degree you don't have to work just be an idiot it's okay 
you don't know your geography, you don't know basic math, it's okay because you're just pretty. Trust me, out of 10, only one person would have a successful relationship that way. So no, being pretty is not enough. Obviously, it is a plus point. If you look around us, successful men that we have been seeing on TV or famous successful people, most of their wives aren't supermodels, but they're smart women who know how to handle a business. They're smart. They know how to talk. They know how to communicate with people. They're intelligent and they don't even look like supermodels. And do they get cheated on? No. Do you know who gets cheated on? Supermodels. Supermodels get cheated on. You know why? Because those insecure men go for looks and nothing else. And they see even prettier women. Say bye bye to your husband. So, no, being pretty is not enough. And the third one is overconfidence. Now, this is something I hate seeing on the internet. Nobody likes an overconfident person. It is okay to be confident. But the minute you're overconfident, that's just, just disgusting. When you're cocky, when you have too much of an ego going on around you, nobody wants to be around you. No high value man or person or high value woman would go for a person who's way too overconfident, who thinks they're on top of the world. Trust me, they don't go for that. High value men or high value women go for people who are confident, they're not insecure but they know their place. They're not overconfident. Trust me, no successful man, no secure man, no good guy would ever go for an overconfident girl or woman. It's just a fact. You could ask any high value man if he would go for an overconfident girl. He would be like, no, because that's just disgusting. So always learn to humble yourselves. You do not have to be overconfident. You do not have to walk around and be like, you know what? I'm that girl, he's gonna be on his knees for me because I'm that girl, girl, bye. It's okay to be confident, but when you are overconfident, you're basically just showing off your insecurities and you look dumb, so don't do that shit. Number four, money is everything. Now this shit gets to me. These dating gurus are basically teaching young women to depend on their man for everything. Now this is so damaging because women have spent years trying to earn as much as men can or trying to change the system right and now these kind of women because they're lazy to work they just don't want to work and they also can't handle a home expects a man to pay for everything here's one rule in life never be financially dependent on one person always make your money save your money it is okay if your boyfriend or husband wants to take care of you but that does not mean you don't make your own money even if you're just a housewife and you're taking care of the kids Make sure you have something for yourself if your man leaves. This is the problem with many women nowadays. They're going through the honeymoon phase. They just got married. They trust their man so much to take care of them. And that's just it. I'm secure. But the minute a man gives you the divorce, you're done. Financial dependence is never good. Are you telling me in this day and age, you can't make as much as money as a man? You would probably make more because nowadays women do have a lot of opportunity. It is the worst idea to financially depend on a man and expect him to take care of you for the rest of your life. Don't do that. Don't fall for that shit. Number two, what these gurus are teaching is basically, if he's poor, he's just not for me. Girls nowadays are expecting 20 year old boys to be successful, successful business owners, CEOs, have an American Express card and shit like that. Like bro, you're 20 years old. What have you achieved? Do you know how difficult it is to be rich? Especially if you grew up poor, the opportunities are much less. Like, it's okay if you're going for the money, but do not call that high value, okay? It's okay if you don't want to be broke. How are you guys expecting 24-year-old men to financially support you, take care of you, and be CEOs of companies when they just got off college? Like, like explain to make it make sense. If they're not Nepo babies, that is just impossible. But you also want the guy to be a successful person on his own. Like, make it make sense. Like two plus two ain't four anymore. Make it make sense. And what have you achieved in your life? Recently, I saw this guru. Uh, she posted this question on her TikTok. She was like, my husband has cancer, blah, blah, blah. He can't work. And you know what this guru said? This guru literally told this woman to tell her husband to go find a passive income so that he could financially take care of the household while this man is dealing with cancer. And I'm just like, bro, where is true love at this point? Like. Why are y'all getting married? Do y'all know what marriage means? Why are you guys getting married if you're only going for money? Your husband is literally dying. He needs to rest. He needs to go to his appointments. But how the fuck do you expect him to go to work at 9 and go to chemotherapy at 12? Are you dumb? 
the lack of support by women like these gurus are basically teaching young women to not even be supportive like it's okay not to be supportive as long as you're getting Louis Vuittons as long as you're getting the Chanel bag you're good let them die that is so fucking stupid and the last one is looking down on other women these gurus who are basically teaching young women to be stupid arrogant and gold diggers are calling other women idiots pick me's and basically broke how are you going to express yourself as a gold digger or stupid and label other women as stupid that is so dumb like everyone has their own opinions everyone has their own ways of living like, now i'm not the 50 50 kind of person but my friend could be a 50 50 kind of person and i'm not gonna judge her because it's not my business her relationship works fine because that system works for my friend and i'm not judging her and she's not judging me for the fact that my man takes care of me. She doesn't call me an idiot, I don't call her an idiot because we are just living by two different systems. What works for me, works for me. What works for her, works for her. At the end of the day, we're both happy. But the problem with these gurus is that they are basically putting down other women. Nowadays, the problem is if your man is not paying, or if you guys are doing 50-50, it is the end of the world. That means your man is trash, he's broke and he's stupid. Or he's just a cheap steak. Bruh, that is so freaking stupid. You are the kind of person who does 50-50. Good for you, it works for you. Be happy. If that's what makes you happy, be happy. Or if you're the kind of girl who wants a man to pay for everything, but you're still financially stable by yourself, cool, it works for you. It makes you happy, you and your partner are happy, go ahead. But when it comes to judging other women because they're living a different life from yours, that's when the problem begins. So that's just that. That is it for this video. I really hope that you guys will be able to form your own opinions, like use your own brains before taking advice off the internet because I know that we can all easily get influenced, but please don't fall for these stupid things. Like at this point, a lot of gurus are describing gold diggers. Don't be that person. Know what true love is support your people, support your husband, support your boyfriend, support your partner, be mindful, think positively, be kind, okay? And just use your brains. Be smart enough to know what's right and wrong. Sometimes advice on the internet is not going to align with you. That doesn't mean you're wrong, okay? So that's just that. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.